Welcome back everybody to Express. I'm going to be showing you today's tutorial on how to get started with the pre-orders on Shopify. So in this guide, we'll be walking through the process. Really, really simple guys. So if you are looking to build anticipation for your products, pre-orders are a fantastic way to engage your audience. So let's dive in. First of all, understanding the pre-orders. Now, before we start, let's understand what are the pre-orders and why they can benefit your business. Now, the pre-orders allow customers to reserve and purchase products before they are officially released. This is a really great strategy to guard them on, create excitement, and secure some sales. Now, enabling the pre-orders into Shopify is gonna be really easy. Now, let's get some practical. First of all, what you wanna do is to log into your Shopify store. Now, you're gonna be seeing the administrator dashboard, and what you wanted to do is to navigate to the settings to enable the pre-orders. So what you wanted to do here, you find the product section here uh, into settings and you can see that there's a lot of information here. Here, what we wanted to do is to enable the pre-orders. What we wanted to do is to create a pre-order product. So uh, let's go directly into Shopify App Store. Once you are in here, what you wanted to do is to type here and type the word pre-order. So there's a lot of information. There's a lot of uh, stuff, application that we can download totally for free. What you wanted to do is to download one that was created actually with Shopify. So it's going to be called the EC Pre-Order Presale Manager, or you can choose whichever other option you want to. Just you want to make sure three things. First of all, you want to make sure this one is built for Shopify. Second of all, you want to make sure that the price is free. And the third one, you want to make sure that the actual rating is higher than four stars. And as you can see, this one has a really great reviews and really great rating. So uh, after you choose a really great application, you hit now into install. Then one is going to be sending you directly into the installation process. Let's go into install application and uh, grant the access to your to your actual website. Now we are inside your application manager. What I want to do is now is to activate this directly. So I'm going to hit it out into activate. Now it's going to be sending us directly into the editor of Shopify of our website. As you can see here, now we are inside the app and beams. So I want to just to make sure this one is enabled. There we go. So now let's go back. I have already activated this. And this is the part of the marketing and communication. So uh, what you wanted to do is to add your very first product. I'm going to hit into add product and let's say for example that I'm willing to sell this hoodie. So I enable this one and I hit into add. So uh, just like that, the product should be added to this app. So to always show the pre-order button until I remove the product from the app or to switch to pre-order only when they go out of stock or to show the pre-order button as long as I have the inventory and after that the product page will show sold out. So in this case, let's go and look out for the number A, ideal for made to order type product. So the button text in my case should be pre-order. You can go for pre-order now to make this a little bit more interesting. I can choose to do it like that and save the customization. Now, once you pre-order products are liked, it's crucial to market them efficiently and keep your customers informed. First of all, let's go into click here to preview. Okay, I preview it. And now this one should be sending me, of course, directly into my website. And as you can see, we have the add to card. So what I want to do is to do two things, or what I can do is to reload my page, or what I can do is to make sure that here directly into my Dawn theme, Let's go back and hit now into save. I want to make sure that I have the pre-order now. So as you can see, it has been changed it from purchase to buy it now into pre-order now. So now let's go once again into view to see if this one is actually live. I'm gonna hit into my catalog. Here's my wearable content and I go directly into my product. As you can see now we have the pre-order now. So I click on it. And as you can see, we have the view card, check out, continue shopping. I'm gonna hit into view card and I have this total here, type pre-order. 
and once somebody makes a purchase, it'll be appearing here into my order. So that means that uh, what I just need to do is to make sure that here into the pre-order, I want to tell them exactly when will this product should be released, when they're going to be getting the product, and of course, what is the actual price of the product before they buy it in the pre-order. So congratulations, you have successfully set up the pre-order on the Shopify. So remember guys, effective communication and marketing play is a vital role is in the success of your pre-order strategy. If you find this guide helpful, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe for more Shopify tips and tricks. Thank you so much for watching the video. Happy pre-ordering with Shopify. Stay tuned for more available insights into TechPress. See you next time.